you don't have any excuse to give as to why you're not creating content in 2024 this youtube studio is fake so if you want to know how i moved from this to this then keep watching in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to create flawless fake youtube studio background to enable your video look aesthetically pleasing before we get straight into the video hi my name is tenry i'm a content creator and a youtuber based in abuja nigeria in our video today i'm going to be teaching you three important steps to help you achieve this flawless background that you're seeing here yes three steps and that's it so the first step is i'm going to be teaching you the equipment you need to be able to achieve this background definitely you need equipment for it but don't be too frightened it's something you have in your corner first equipment you need is your phone your phone your mobile device or your digital camera whichever one you're using whether a mobile device or a digital camera both works for this as far as you're able to get good quality out of your mobile phone you can achieve this the second equipment you need is a tripod yes your tripod you need a tripod so that you can be able to station it the tripod helps it stay put without glitches and all you get me so the third equipment to you you need is definitely a source of light whether it's a ring light a soft box led light sunlight whatever light you're able to use to achieve your video goes perfect then now we're moving to the apps you need to achieve this so i'll mention three apps you can use to achieve this fake youtube studio background the first app you can be either pinterest pixart or any other app you can use to get clear images from or leonardo ai now these three apps i mentioned is just for you to be able to get the images you want as your background that's why we need either of these three apps i mentioned you can do your research and find other ones but the one i'm going to recommend highly for you is leonardo ai the reason i'm recommending leonardo ai is because it can help what you have in mind come to play you know sometimes you can see pictures and maybe there are some things you don't want to be in those pictures now that's where leonardo ai comes in after you register your account and everything you can put in how you want i'm going to show you how to use it but i'm just trying to like explain you can just type in how you want your background to be whether you want books to be there you want a bookshelf you want a flower vest you want a tv screen you want like anything you want you can just insert it and then leonardo ai is going to help you create a background with your recommendation you have like 150 points that you can use each background you're trying to create you they are taking like 20 points out of it so each day you have 150 points once you exhaust that point you have to wait till the next day before you create. the second app you need is your canva app the reason why you need your canva app is because when you download those images from any of the apps i just mentioned it's going to come in a portrait mode i need it to be in a landscape mode because you're obviously shooting for a youtube video except if you're shooting for maybe like instagram or tiktok that's why you can leave it like that but if you're shooting for a youtube video you need canva to help you like enlarge and make it the normal length of a youtube video now the last app you need is CapCut. those are the three apps you need to achieve this fake youtube studio background now we're moving to the practical aspect on how to use those apps when you go to your app store or your google play store to download leonardo ai and then create an account the easiest way to create an account is using, is using Google to sign in. So yeah, that's the fastest way to create an account with Leonardo AI. So here I'm going to choose which of the accounts I want to use. And then, yeah. Then you create a username, any username of your choice. And then wait for it to show you if the name has been used or it's invalid or it's valid, anyone. So after that, we'll move to the next step, which is... So in this part they'll ask you what are your interests i just selected stock images and then for the role that best describes me i just picked exploring ai for personal use yeah so here you just start typing whatever you want to be in your image whether i want it to be a bookshelf and everything so this was me typing what i wanted to be in my background so after typing whatever you want to be in your background leonardo ai is going to start generating those images that are similar to what you just typed 
So these are the image suggestions. You can pick from anyone. You see them below there. So, so I saved this and I went ahead to search for more options. Now we'll go to our Canva app and we're going to type, click the plus sign and type YouTube thumbnail. I already have it here, so I just clicked YouTube thumbnail. After clicking on the thumbnail, you go ahead and click the plus sign and add your generated picture that you got from either Pinterest or Leonardo AI. Insert it there. And yeah, you adjust it to the normal landscape mode. So this was me just basically trying to adjust it to how I want it to be. When you're done with this step, you go ahead and save your image. After you're done downloading your image, you go to CapCut and click on New Project. Then you insert your picture and drag your picture or your image down to the end. When you're done dragging the image, then you go ahead and click on Overlay. Overlay, yeah. Insert your video and then drag your video also. Oh, it's going to take time to do. Drag your video to the end where the picture or your image is. When you're done dragging it, then you click on remove background. Then you see it's going to take its time to load. It's going to take a lot of time. Be patient so that you don't have any glitch or anything like that. Yeah, see how it came out. Then now it's time for you to edit it to make it look more realistic. So you're going to click on blur, mm, effects, sorry. Click on effects and then search for blur. Then you click on the first one and then you just adjust it. Adjust the opacity to how you want it to be, honestly. It depends on what you want your video to look like. Then after that, you, that, after that, you go to your filter and just pick any of the filters you want you can use as many filters as you want as possible depending on what you want at the end of the day it's what you want that matters so edit it however you want and yeah that's that's the end export your video and you're good to go so now that you've learned how to achieve this background don't forget to share like comment and if, if there's any part of this video you need clarity on please don't forget to comment down below and i'll do well to reply your comments and try as much as possible to explain for you to understand better because i want all of us to win this 2024 we're standing on business and that's on period yeah <laughs>